What does it mean? ADHD. A lot of the so-called experts say it's the most heritable mental illness there is. And I say it's neither an illness nor is it heritable. Difficulty paying attention, kind of tuning out, poor impulse control, the difficulty sitting still. And if I were to stress you right now, what would be your options of dealing with that? I could either get upset or I could leave. Exactly. Yeah. You could fight back, flight or fight, yeah? But what if you didn't have those options? Then you're stuck. And how, what does the brain do when you're stuck like that? It gets tunes out. Yeah, it tunes out. In other words, it's a coping mechanism. Infants can't help but absorb the stress of their parents. Right. All we can do is tune out. But when is this tuning out happening? When our brain is being developed, the most salient feature of the environment that shapes it is actually the relationship with the parents. Parents are present and emotionally attuned. The child brains develop properly. But the parents are stressed. The child absorbs the stress. What can they do with it? They tune out. And that tuning out thing is programmed into the brain. And then 10 years later, or if we say, you got this disease. No, you don't. You've got a coping mechanism that's no longer to add value, we've mentioned it before that the whole black mental health in general is a slippery slope because of the big pharma. Uh, what you're looking at now are the different medications for ADHD. And there's a list as well as the, 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 the durations of four to five hours or whatever that you're gonna have to re-up and take those pills again to keep yourself leveled in that coping mechanism that they're telling you that you can't structure yourself out of, but you can keep medicating for how long, how many years? Big pharma, big government, big business, all linked in together. And while I'm not anything, I'm not you'll think of me black ah uh, eat eggs <laughs>